Okay, I am back again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Go subscribe now. It's down below, right here, right in the right hand corner. Yeah, subscribe. It's free, 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 guys. It's free. Okay and hit that notification bell because if you don't then your subscription will not go through and you will minus it from my amount of subscribers my aim is to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this month i'm pushing out videos guys so support me share my content i talk about things that are genuine calm problems in general society and I discuss them. If COVID was about, I would be doing public interviews. I'm just waiting for all of that to calm down so I can go on the public interviews on my particular issues and questions that I have for the public. All right, the first things I first thing I want to discuss as it relates to so, um, he broke up with me because of my weight. It was a article that I saw a dear pastor about a woman who was writing a letter to the pastor complaining that her husband of five and a half years who she had two children with he had an affair and when she found out he told her that it's her fault because she had gained some weight over the years so after five years of marriage and having two children she's working he's also working and she's taking care of the house cooking cleaning taking care of the children and he's gonna say it's her fault that he cheated because she gained some weight over the five and a half years after having children and that he wanted something new so um i'm talking about that situations like that it's not her fault that she gained weight for one she had two children and she as intelligent man would know that having a children can make you gain having children can make you gain weight having a child per se you can gain weight during even after giving birth didn't he think of that when he said he wanted children secondly she probably doesn't even have time for herself because she's taking care of him taking care of the children she probably don't get no time to exercise and eat on time eat properly because her main focus is taking care of the house and taking care of him and his two children so i think that man is very inconsiderate you can leave your thoughts down below i saw people were saying she should just go and lose the weight um that's not gonna help because the man said he also did it because he wanted something new didn't he know that when he was getting married he would have the same thing for the rest of his life based on his vows didn't he know that if he knew that he couldn't have one thing all the time then he shouldn't have gotten married why take the vows and not honor them that makes no sense and i do not think she should lose the weight for him if she's uncomfortable with her body then she needs to leave him and take time for herself leave the children with him so that he knows what it's like to take care of children take some time for herself eat right exercise and he definitely will be running back to her and she does not deserve someone like that she deserves better so i would say divorce him get a new life try to move on because he will never be faithful whether you're skinny or you're fat because that is a poor excuse if you love the person how they look should not matter if you have a problem with her weight why don't you, why don't you say to her that um okay you will give her some time to exercise or you will exercise with her 
and lose the weight together and etc and when i thought about it i said this man probably is not even a 10 out of 10 sometimes them barely get big because they're comfortable and they eat and everything you are feed them I never hear a woman say she left a man because they get fat you're always a woman i make that complaint here men become so complacent when they are too comfortable has someone ever broken up with you with me because of my weight no i've never had that issue um they always like my weight they always want me to keep my weight as it is to feed me and frankly if i realize you do have a problem why pursue me in the first place you pursued me as a thick person someone body Worse because I know that my illness makes it difficult to maintain the weight and that's a turn off for me so bye that don't make any sense moving on do I have a problem with bigger men no I do not have a problem you can be big and attractive but there are some that <clears throat> because of their bigness they have a hygienic problem and all you have to do is address it and let them know that you know it don't smell too right you need to change something maybe you need to shower differently or use a different deodorant or um cologne but just saying you don't want person because they're big you're being unfair because why were you with them in the first place it didn't really bother me and i don't think it ever will as i said as long as you're very hygienic was i bullied about my weight um probably like in primary school <sighs> there was a skinny girl i'm gonna say skinny because she was really skinny and bones were sticking out so yeah the skinny girl we had a trip and she had an issue with the person that i was paired with she wanted to be paired with that particular person and i didn't really care i just wanted to have fun on the trip and the worst part about it is they gave me and her the same room and imagine if i was a sociopath i could have killed her with a pillow or something and the girl the girl taunted me the whole time i was on the trip she had a issue she called me a blob and all sorts of things and i ignored her because it did not make sense for me to get upset and ruin my trip because of someone who didn't get what they want and you would call that being spoiled um it would be better if she came to me and asked me if i could exchange with her whosoever person she got and you know the problem would have been solved but as usual instead kids will be kids and yeah that's the only time i was really bullied about my weight when i was in high school i did not have that issue people didn't really trouble me because i just always had a serious face and they always said it oh um we don't want to trouble her because she's very unpredictable number five does it affect my self-esteem sometimes because it is hard for my tummy to look small most times it's swollen and i feel uncomfortable i always think that people are staring at it and always being asked if i am pregnant and i am tired of that question it's like somebody can't have a big belly anymore unless they're pregnant and it just goes down to show you how illiterate people are in society they want to know about your business but instead of asking they just assume and that is people and it will always be that way so rather than really i am accepting it and embracing it number six despite everything i love myself and also would love to feel appreciated 
sometimes a woman just wants a compliment yeah so men if you're watching this sometimes instead of addressing what you see is wrong with the person try to compliment them on something that you like because what's the sense if you can compliment the person they they won't be happy because they'll think that you don't like them the next thing is hmm I hate when people assume that I indulge in fast foods and I do it frequently and I envy those who indulge in fast food and do not gain weight the worst part is even if I do eat them I would feel sick so I just don't and that has kept my cholesterol and blood pressure down in my opinion so men please show your love to the thick women as well and stop using these fantasized designer bodies now on instagram not everyone is going to have money to do a bbl because most times most of these women they get surgery they will use their whole life savings just to do surgery so they can look a particular way while we took women are embracing our natural selves and I think you should embrace them as well a woman would say love me for me if you see how much effect is it has on me I've never been small maybe one day I will be when I'm healthier but for no only diet I can manage and I'm glad no one has a problem with that so anyways you should subscribe to my channel and this is why if you want to hear more about the journeys and other opinion of women's health my medical journey vlogs and updates i have a lot of medical stuff coming up and i will be vlogging so stay tuned for that stories about funny incidents and my opinions um of you the audience my endometriosis journey wedding makeup ideas field interviews in the streets coming soon so if I have someone to assist me with that then I will be doing that in the future because I know people like to hear <coughs> opinions of the public in general and that's it for my video today give me a like if you enjoyed this video write your opinions down below as it relates to the treatment of thick women who don't have these false bodies because of BBL and liposuction thank you for watching if you made it to the end of the video congratulations and as I said when you're subscribing please turn on your bell click on notifications or your subscription will not go through and you will not be notified when I post a video each week alright um help me get to a thousand subscribers and i will be motivated to produce more content clean content okay thank you for watching ciao